bring it back up to the heaven pattern. Go to that second pattern. Down, down. Go to the third pattern. In this martial arts class, you'll discover the secret to using your Kali martial arts sticks specifically for Sinawali. Kali martial arts Sinawali means weaving. Grab your Kali sticks and follow me. With the stick in each hand, a little bit coming out of the pinky side, warm up by dropping and pulling all the way back. Slow at first, and then gradually faster. Add a spin to the outside, and as you bring it up, spin in the opposite direction. Stick on each shoulder, go through your basic strikes, right and left. The first two strikes are down at this angle. They come through the temple to the cheek, or think of the clavicle, the neck, through the ribs. This angle is very important when you're slicing with this part of your collie stick. One, bring it all the way back to the other shoulder. Two, Put it on the shoulder and then the other side. See that I'm switching my feet. Switch your feet with me. One, two, one, two. That's your warm up. Now we're gonna cross the arms here. So you have one hand under the other one. You're gonna slice and bring it across to the other side. The other one comes out and you're gonna bring it back to the other side. Slice and you're gonna bring it under on the same side. Watch again from the beginning, starting this chambered position, right to the left shoulder, left back to the left side, right under the left arm. Now switch your feet so your left foot's forward, left over to the right shoulder. This angle is very important. Right, back to the right side, see them both here. Left, and right under that right arm. Very deliberate here at the beginning as you learn this Sinawali or weaving pattern. Deliberate in the way that you're thinking about returning the stick to its chambered position. Before you speed up, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So I want you to really get each move down correctly before you start going faster. Don't try to do this. One, two, three, and chamber. One, two, three, one, two, three, and here. You're gonna fight from behind your sticks. You're gonna stay behind the sticks always. When you move, when you turn, when you turn back the other way, you're always gonna have these in front of your face. But get in a good habit of chambering, keeping those arms tight. See how tight these are? Before you go fast, don't make yourself a target because you wanted to go fast and all of a sudden you're like this. And look, if I stop it, you can see, come right over the top, take my eyeball out of my face. But if I maintain, you know, you stop it, see that? how much higher they are that's in front of my face i'm behind it 
Learn how to fight from behind your guard. Especially when it comes to a martial arts weapon. Technique is extremely important. Technique beats speed, technique beats power every single day. But don't stop there, don't get stuck by having perfect technique but never pushing yourself faster. It's time to speed up. A little bit quicker, slow is smooth, smooth is fast, but don't stop bringing your stick over and your stick back and your stick under. Go faster, push yourself, grow, don't lose good technique. Start to move around. This is just the basic Cinewall. I'm gonna show you another one today. Stay tuned. In about 13 seconds, I'm gonna show you another one. Keep moving with me. This is a follow along martial arts class. And stop, here we go, the next one. I'm gonna do the first one here, bring it over like before. And the second one is going down to the knee. And then I bring it back. Everything else is the same. Here and under. There's that first strike, it comes over, then down. Back and under. Smooth, smooth is fast, and then once you get it, start to speed it up without losing the chamber. The chamber, get it tight. Now, without stopping your movement, keep your flow going. You want martial arts to flow. You're gonna go back up to here. Up here, we're gonna call this heaven because it's all in the heavens above the earth. And when uh, you hear heaven, most times in martial arts, Asian martial arts, heaven means the universe, the stars, the sky, everything above the earth. They're not talking about a religious heaven. Not in the sense that we might talk about it in a church. It's just up here. Heaven as in the heavens, as in the sky. We should call this sky. I'm renaming it officially. Uh-oh, all you FMA guys freaking out a little bit. I can't really do that. I don't have any power or authority to do that. Call it what you want. But it's all up. Now, without stopping, here's your flow, Sinawali style. Go down that second move. Now you have some variety in your training. You can keep it all up here, and then you can start to go down, and especially if you have a partner, or maybe you're doing this on a bag. Let's do it on the bag. I just wanna show you on this banana bag, Muay Thai. We're not doing Muay Thai. We are doing Filipino martial arts. You also find this in Indonesia. Right foot, left foot, right, left. Now watch. I just put that second one down without stopping my flow. I start to circle my bag a little bit, go back the other way, and then bring it all back up. And then I, without stopping, start to put that second strike down, bring it all back up. We leave this class, I'm gonna give you one bonus in a Wally pattern. With your sticks in that same chambered starting position, do your first strike the same chamber, and then go to the knee, all in the same hand, right, right. Left is down like that heaven earth pattern, up and I'm under the same way I was on the other one. Now I switch feet, this is my left hand, one, down, down, up and under. Everything else is the same. I'm just adding a second strike with that same hand and try to get it back, make it a good habit to bring it across, see how I bring it across my body, before I go down, up, down. Don't just do this. One, two, one, two, three, four. When you start to work with a partner or you work this on a bag, you'll have a tendency to get really fast because it looks cooler. But don't sacrifice good technique for speed. Remember we say fight to grow? 
This is another fight. Fight to maintain good technique so that when you do grow, you grow better than everybody else. And it's not a competition between you and them. Growth mindset means don't quit. Don't give up. Growth mindset is also can't do it yet, but I will if I don't quit. But the third part of growth mindset is you're not competing against the other guy. You're competing against yourself. And then you get better than yourself every time. But don't get better without good technique. Up, down, let's put it on the bag and then we're out of here. Get this full turn. See how I turn my body? One, two. Start to move around. Bring it back up to the heaven pattern. Go to that second pattern. Down, down. Go to the third pattern. High, low. Move around the bag. Don't stop until you're sweating and your hands are burning. Check out these other videos on Kali, and I'll see you in the next video.